The only other big news uh, was today with with Adam Schefter breaking that uh, Antonio Brown is looking to sign with a team and that the Seahawks are pursuing him. Um, I know that he's currently a free agent in a bunch of leagues. Uh, what would you bid on him? Oh, gosh. Uh, what would I bid on Antonio Brown? He doesn't want to go to the Bears. He- in, I currently have a bid in on him. I'll let you guess what it is, and I'm probably going to remove it, but I'll let you guess. I will guess that you have a zero dollar bid in. No, it's actually a dollar amount. Oh, I would. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to cancel it and make it a zero dollar bid or like a two dollar bid, probably. I would guess that your bid is probably between 10 and 20 percent. Yeah, I, I have eleven dollars on him, which is just over five percent in our league because we have two hundred bucks. Yeah, like if, I, if you were to go to the um, if you were to go to the Seahawks, he'd be the wide receiver three there. And so I don't know how much value there would be. We know he's not going to the Bears, as you mentioned, because Nick Foles is there, is as he put it. Yeah, and I don't understand for a guy that is serving an eight game suspension isn't is still under you know review or whatever for an additional off field issue that he had and could potentially be suspended again is being picky about what team he gets signed with part of me thinks he might be lucky to get signed anywhere at all i guess the adam schefter news that came out today i didn't really think was news because I've known that this would be the case for his suspension all year, that it was just sure. eight games. And so it's the first eight games of any team in the league. If it's a bye week, it turns into nine. But that's been the case all year. It's just that it got pushed out again this week. And so for whatever reason, it just becomes the news and everybody's all, oh, my God, I got to go sign Antonio Brown. Well, all the teams knew that he could be in reinstated now and nobody signed him yet. And he's only two weeks away. So you got to think if there was this big line out the door to go get Antonio Brown, maybe they would have signed him already instead of waiting for now two weeks until he can play again, you know? Um, And it's really less than that. If you want to talk about uh, like in terms of time to get him to your city and in your facility and practicing and learning like if you wanted to sign the guy and not and give him a shot of like having a chance to play that first week and know what he's doing, you're going to want to sign him at least like now. Um, right. And the Seahawks are looking at him, but they don't they don't need him. What's he going to do for them? They already have they're already trying to get Josh Gordon reinstated as well. So. And you have DK there. I would be so upset if I was a DK manager or a locket manager. You know what my advice is? Literally go to those managers in your leagues, see how tilted they are about the potential of Antonio Brown signing there and see if you can get them because DK should not be really sold in really any sort of trade. Like it would have to be, I would have to get the most one-sided trade in history to give up DK Metcalf. Like, I am. I don't want to give him up really for much of anything in any league in any format. Um, right. And Lockett is a wide receiver too. That's going to have wide receiver one weeks. Like I don't want to really give him up either. I would just. I would. I would probably see if I couldn't trade for either one of them, especially DK. I don't think DK's role changes. He's still going to be that end zone, red zone threat guy that he is. Um, I think it would probably hurt Lockett more. Yep. But so you're, if you're I putting put a, zero dollars on him. I, I if I'm bidding anything and I thought about actually just picking him up last week or maybe even yep. the week before. And I, I think I may have even drafted him in our league and then dropped Correct. him at the outset of the season. Um if I'm bidding anything on him, it's a dollar or two just to get ahead of the guys that are going to bid zero. And 
it just sucks because honestly, I feel like there's a 70% chance that he would just sit on your bench for two to three weeks and clog a and roster spot. Him. And then you end up just dropping him anyways. And then you're just pissed that you ever picked him up and that you wasted the fab on him. Cause why isn't he on a team already? Every, the league already knew that he could be signed, but nobody signed him. So, yep. Yep. I'm with you. Oh, bay. Ah, good old AB still, still rattling the cage of the NFL. <clears throat> All right. With yeah, that, since, let's head over since, to our social. AB and Lev Bell have left the Steelers. They've done nothing. And the Steelers um, still have a bunch of talent. It's crazy. Yeah, and arguably. They, they've literally done nothing. Yeah. Yeah, arguably one of the best receivers in Chase Claypool. I mean, he's <laughs> so good. Dude, he is so good, though. Mapletron. Mapletron might be the best nickname that I c- That's like the best receiver nickname I can remember in recent memory. Mapletron? He's Canadian, and he has all of the same measurables as Megatron. So they call him Mapletron. It's glorious. I can't believe you didn't even know this. It makes me hate him even more. I can't. You call yourself a fantasy analyst and you don't even know the guy's nickname is Mapletron. How would I know this? Like, who's calling him that? Everyone. It's a thing. Like, it's a thing that people know. (laughs) Whatever. Oh, man. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was.